Let's program the Yesu FT70D using Chirp. Just download here from the link provided. Grab the cable from your box or an SCU19 cable. Connect it just here and get your radio into what they call ADMS mode so you can find the COM port uh, of your computer. Now to get it into ADMS mode, you could use the power cable, but I'm just going to cheat and I'm going to pop the back off here. Just press the button until the battery opens away from the device. Pull it right away until it goes off. It's gone off. Press and hold the AMS, which is bottom left button. Press and hold it and then just press the battery back in and it actually says ADMS, so you're in programming mode. When you do this and the cable's connected to your PC, when you go right click on your Windows Square, Device Manager. Okay, I'm just gonna go down here, COM, and look, you've got COM12 there, which wasn't there before. So now when we open Chirp after you download it, we can select the radio at the top, it says radio, download from radio. And look, COM12's there, but choose it from the list. Yesu FT70, again, list. So now, uh, there's a trick to this. You have to press OK, and you get these instructions. Well, we're already in ADMS mode, because we needed that to uh, to get us, you know, programming and for the COM port to appear. So it just says here, press the band, press OK. It says here, after clicking OK, press the band key. So we're going to click OK on the computer. And then we're going to press the band and that gets the radio transmitting whatever's on it. There's nothing on this when it's a it's factory reset. There you go. And we've read the radio. I know it's blank, but we've read it. So now we can add some channels if we want. We can go one, four, five uh, dot six hundred. And it's GB three WR, for example. GB3WR and put in that you want a tone for your repeater and a duplex button just put your minus shift it does everything for you uh, and that's it and set your power here if you want that's how you put a repeater in now if you go into settings and go to digital you can get your call sign in there M0FXB for C4FM you're going to need that otherwise it won't work on on transmit Okay, and then you can adjust the DTMF, the display, got continuous there, group mode, you know, it's all there. And we have banks. So let's say you've got 20 channels here. Um, you can put them into banks. So if you go back to the memory, we could put in a mem an airband one, 133.850. It doesn't transmit, of course. I'm just going to put air. And then if we go to banks, we could create a bank for airband. So let's just say, uh the bank number of course cool, starts high doesn't it bank uh one on oh no, it's one dot zero is air band and then we can have say bank two dot says two dot one doesn't it is going to be for for your repeaters and if you if we had another repeater here so here we go one four five dot seven and it is a two meter and seventy radio we have to go back to memory sorry one four five dot seven five zero GB three Bravo Charlie. That's got a tone as well that opens the repeater and ninety four point eight. We've got the name in again. That one's minus, and we can set the power here. It's a five watt radio. Well, we could do a uh, say four three zero dot nine two five. That's GB three FI like so tone but this time we want a plus shift okay and it's 77 that one this is how you open the repeater uh, and we want the 7.6 here as a shift so i know it gets a bit confusing if you're new to this but you need that shift for the repeater to work and if it goes settings we've got our important one which is our call sign in settings there now we can go normally i would say to query source here radio query source and repeater book but i can't get my location in there not really sure why i've tried it it won't let me choose bristol 
normally I choose Bristol, but it's not letting me. Um, but normally you could just then get a whole list of repeaters in your area and copy and paste them into your memories every time you read the radio. Um, you get a new tab here. See this tab at the top? Um, you get a new tab and you can normally copy and paste. Of course, you can import, export, CSV, edit, copy, cut, paste. Uh, look, show extra fields, hide empty memories, use larger fonts, all kinds of stuff to tinker with here. Don't it's free. It's free. You've got developers mode. There's a, that's a whole new thing. So now this is the tricky bit. If When you want to go back to the radio, it's a slightly different process when you want to send it back to the radio. Uh, what you do is you go radio, upload to radio. The radio is in ADMS mode. You can see the screen says that. But this time, when we go OK, so now this time is a bit different because it wants you to, first of all, press, it says here, press the mode key, look for the word wait on the screen. So we're going to press mode. The screen says wait, and then it says press OK. This now makes our software transmit to the FT70. So, so that's about it, really. I mean, it's all about tinkering. It's free. Most of us have got an SCU19 cable. There was a cable that came in the box, OK? Um, and that does work. That's the one I'm using right now. I've also got the SCU19 because it, you, I use that on my FT3D, 5D and 1D um, for PDM mode. Um, so there you go. Let's let that clone to the radio. And then we'll finish the video. But you can use Chirp. I mean, I like RT Systems. I've got one of their cables. It's their receiving. And of course, you can go File, Save and save your memories. You could borrow. I mean, I've got a friend who's got uh, M6LSJ Lino on Facebook, M6LSJ Code Plugs. He'll send you a code plug with hundreds of memories. And um, I might ask him to send me one, put it in. Why not? Um, You've got the free ADMS software from Yesu themselves. So that says complete. So if we just come out of ADMS mode, it's going to turn it off and back on. And then go into memory. You've got VM here. Look, we've got GB3WR that we put in. And let's go air, an airband. Yeah, it does do airband very well. It's a very wide band receiver, this. And remember, if you put in your your frequency for 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 your hotspot you know, your C4FM hotspot, then you can go press F, then AMS, and you go, you can activate your hotspot as well, F, AMS. It's a C4FM radio, it's VHF, UHF, airband, wideband receive. It's one of the best sets out there at this price level. Thanks for watching, hope this helps. All the links are in the description, including to buy the cable that you need if you can't find it, because many of us have put the box away and forgotten when the cable is. Uh, but unfortunately, it's going to cost about £30. Seven, three, all